Hi, my name's Catherine and I work with the RUH Art in the Heart team and this is a video for the Art Sparks on the Children's Ward. Now I'm going to show you a nice little watercolour technique that you can do by your bedside just to make a greetings card. It's nice and simple. And inside your bag you're going to find some watercolour paints, some paint brushes, a greetings card with an envelope, a fine liner and a pencil and you'll also have a little pot of glue and a glue spreader. If you haven't got a glue spreader just use a little bit of cardboard that's fine. Now I'm not going to use these today because you might not always find the same thing in every bag every time we make the kits up. So I've just got some, these are the same thing, they're watercolours. So I'm going to choose just to use blue and another little bit blue. Whoops, oh, it's very watery, this one. There we go, it's because it's not been used. And perhaps a little bit of this red. And you can mix whatever colours you like in the top of your um, watercolour palette. There we go, you don't need much paint to do this. Um, but what you do need, you'll have also some watercolour paper inside your bag that I've cut into little pieces for you. And you want to put quite a lot of water onto your pad or your piece of paper. And that way you won't need to use very much paint at all. Because it just should you see how it's blobbing out and it will run down the page a little bit and if I mix that with another colour I'm going to use the blue just a little tiny bit just pop it on and you've just got a nice pattern which we can just let dry. So we've just let that dry. And uh, now that it's, it is touch dry, I'm gonna take my fine liner and I'm just gonna do some patterns on this um, little painted square that we've got, or oblong. Now I could, I could do anything, I could, what do you think it looks like? It could look like the ground and the sky. So I could maybe do a tree or I could do some flowers or I'll tell you what I might do. I mean, I might just do some squiggly patterns. Um, so I'm just going to draw a little square around it, I think, like so. And then I'm going to make those into squares. And then in each one, I'm just going to do some swirls. There we go. My swirls aren't that great, but it's not about being perfect. That's why we're using the, the, um, the fine liner pen. Because then it gets all the little um, spontaneity the word I'm looking for which means you're just doing it off the top of your head and this one I'm gonna make triangles you can do whatever you like it's your greetings card you might just want to think about who you're going to send it to. I might send mine to my mum. Um, just to say hello. There we go. Mine's quite symmetrical actually, isn't it? 
having said we're going for spontaneous there we go now then put it back on there and i'm just going to take my scissors you can get those from the playroom if you're um and then i'm going to pull i'm going to pull this one out here and i'm just going to cut this bit I don't, I don't want to lose the edges of the paint so again it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect in fact what i might do is give this a bit more of a torn edge to give it a little bit of texture contrast with the straight edge and then I've just got a bit of folded card and I'm going to figure out where to position it so put right in the middle let's go your composition right in the middle or at the side or in the top I think I'm going to put it at the top in the middle so you just want the tiniest bit of glue it's quite runny, this glue. Let's put some on the back. There we go. Make sure it fits down. And then I'll pop that on there. And you can do a few of these because you'll have a few bits of paper in your um, in your kit. And I'll put some examples on the sheet so you can have a little an idea of what you want to do. And you can either leave it nice and plain like that, or you could write happy birthday at the bottom. I, I'm going to write a thank you card, actually, I think, to my friend. Uh, dear Amy... Thank you. Oops, except I can't spell. Thank you for all your help from Catherine. There we go. And that's my card. And you can pop it in your envelope and away you go. Thank you.